Ever had that sinking feeling of being scammed during a vacation? There's nothing that can quite burst the bubble of holiday euphoria like realizing you've fallen prey to a well-orchestrated scam. Vacation scams are a common occurrence around the globe. They range from the seemingly innocuous, like a street vendor charging you double for a trinket, to the more elaborate ruses that can leave you penniless and stranded in a foreign land. Today, we're focusing on one such scam that has been making waves in the charming streets of Porto, the tuk-tuk scam. Tuk-tuks, those three-wheeled motorized vehicles that are as iconic to the streets of Porto as the Azulejos decorated buildings, have become the chosen vehicle for tricksters. These rides, which are often the highlight of a tourist trip, can quickly turn into a financial nightmare. But what makes tuk-tuk such a magnet for scams? To answer that, we need to understand the allure of tuk-tuks for tourists. Firstly, tuk-tuks are a novelty for many tourists. They promise an authentic and fun way to explore the city. Secondly, their small size allows them to navigate the narrow, winding streets of Porto, taking you to hidden gems that larger vehicles can't access. And finally, they offer a more intimate and personal experience, as you are often in close proximity with the driver, who doubles as your tour guide. Add all these factors together and you have a setting ripe for exploitation. The very elements that make tuk-tuks attractive to tourists also make them an easy target for scams. The novelty and charm can distract you from the fact that you're being taken for a ride in more ways than one. The intimacy can make you trust your driver implicitly, not questioning the route taken or the price quoted. And the promise of an exclusive experience can make you overlook hidden charges. So, how do these tuk-tuk tricksters operate? Let's dive into it. Imagine this. You hop into a tuk-tuk expecting a fun, affordable ride, only to be hit with an inflated bill at the end. Yes, we're talking about the inflated price scam, one of the most common tricks in the tuk-tuk tricksters playbook. Picture yourself as a tourist eager to explore the winding streets of Porto. You flag down a tuk-tuk, hop in, and off you go. The ride is short, the journey memorable, but the real shock comes at the end when the driver hands you a bill that could make your heart skip a beat. This inflated price scam is as simple as it sounds. The drivers charge unsuspecting tourists exorbitant rates for what should be a budget-friendly ride. You are expecting a few euros, but you're slapped with a bill that's three, four, or even five times that. And for what? A ride that didn't even last 10 minutes. Now you might wonder, how do these tricksters justify these outrageous prices? Well, they have a bag full of excuses ready. They might tell you it's a tourist rate, a special premium for being a non-local. Or they could claim it's peak hour charges, a surcharge for riding during the busiest times of the day. Some might even go as far as saying that the scenic route they took was a special service, and that's why it costs more. But let's be clear, these are nothing more than excuses to trick you into paying more than you should. A ride in a tuk-tuk should be a fun, affordable way to see the city, not a financial nightmare. So how can you avoid falling into this trap? Knowledge is your best defense. Be aware of the average prices for tuk-tuk rides in Porto. Don't hesitate to negotiate the price before you start the ride. And most importantly, don't let the charm of the ride distract you from keeping an eye on your wallet. Sounds outrageous, right? But wait, there's more. Ever taken a detour and ended up on a longer route than expected? Let's take a peek into the third act of our tuk-tuk trickster tale, the extended route scam. You know how it goes. You hop into a tuk-tuk, excited for a breezy ride through the beautiful streets of Porto. The driver, friendly and full of charm, offers to take you on a special route to show you the hidden gems of the city. Sounds like an adventure, right? But here's where the plot thickens. This special route is often an unnecessary detour, a winding path that takes twice as long as the direct route. While you're busy admiring the view, the meter is ticking and the fare is steadily climbing. This extended route scam is a crafty way for tuk-tuk drivers to increase the fare without you even realizing it. Now you might argue, but I'm seeing more of the city. And yes, while that's true, the question is whether you're seeing it at a fair price. These drivers are not certified tour guides, and yet they're charging you as if they were. It's not about the extra sights and sounds, it's about the extra cash they're pocketing at your expense. So how can you avoid falling victim to this scam? The answer is simple. Knowledge and preparation. Before stepping foot in a tuk-tuk, 
map out your route. Know the quickest, most direct way to get to your destination and make it clear to the driver that this is the route you want to take. Remember, the tuk-tuk ride is part of your vacation experience. It should be fun, relaxing, and most importantly, fair. Don't let the charm of the ride blind you to the tricks of the trade. As if that wasn't enough, there's one more trick up these tuk-tuk driver's sleeves. But we'll save that for the next scene. Stay tuned. Ever thought you knew what you were paying for, only to be blindsided by hidden charges? Welcome to the world of the hidden charges scam, a devious trick employed by some unscrupulous operators in the world of tuk-tuk rides. Let's paint a picture. You've just enjoyed a scenic tour of the city on a breezy tuk-tuk ride. As you reach your destination, the driver hands you the bill. And there it is, a total far exceeding your initial quote. But how? You didn't take any detours, you didn't stop for photos, so what gives? Well, you've just been introduced to the hidden charges scam. This is where operators add unexpected costs onto your fare. Charges for things that you would never have thought you'd be paying for. Luggage fees, waiting time, service charges, tour guide fees, you name it. The creativity of these operators knows no bounds when it comes to inventing new ways to lighten your wallet. The most infuriating part about this scam is the lack of transparency. These additional charges are often not disclosed up front to the passengers. It's a classic bait and switch. You agree to one price only to be presented with another at the end of your journey. And the worst part? Many tourists pay up. They're in a foreign country, they don't want to cause a scene, and they often don't know their rights. Therefore, they end up paying these exorbitant charges turning a charming tuk-tuk ride into a sour experience. So here's a word of advice. Always ask for a complete breakdown of the cost before you hop onto a tuk-tuk. If the driver is hesitant or vague about the charges, consider it a red flag and opt for another ride. And remember, it's okay to challenge a charge if it was not disclosed to you up front. In the end, it's all about being aware and staying vigilant. Scams like these can turn what should be a fun experience into a financial nightmare. But with a bit of knowledge and caution, you can enjoy your vacation without falling prey to these hidden charges. Now that we've exposed these tricks, it's time to turn the tables. It's one thing to be aware of scams, but it's another to actively prevent them. And that's where you come in. Your experiences, your stories, your tips and tricks, they all matter. They're all part of the puzzle that can help us all stay safe and scam-free. Have you ever been a victim of a scam? Or perhaps you've narrowly escaped one? Maybe you've heard a story from a friend or a family member? Whatever your experience may be, we want to hear it. Your story could be the one that saves someone from falling into the same trap. Even if you think it might be insignificant or that it's something that everyone must already know, share it anyway. You never know who might benefit from your knowledge. The smallest piece of advice can sometimes make the biggest difference. But it's not just about sharing, it's about learning too. We all have something to learn from each other. It might be a new scam that's making rounds or an old scam that's found a new disguise. By staying informed and keeping up with the latest scams, we can all be better prepared to fend them off. Remember, scams like the tuk-tuk tricksters thrive on unawareness and misinformation. The more we know, the less likely we are to be fooled. So let's not only combat scams with awareness, but also with knowledge. And finally, don't underestimate the power of community. When we share our experiences, when we learn from each other, we're not just protecting ourselves, but we're protecting our friends, our families, and our communities. That's the power of sharing and learning. So let's keep the conversation going, let's keep sharing and let's keep learning because together, we're stronger. Together, we can outsmart the tuk-tuk tricksters and any other scam that comes our way. Subscribe and share. We have so many stories to uncover. Remember, knowledge is power. The more we share, the more we can protect each other from these tuk-tuk tricksters. So don't keep your experiences to yourself. Let's hear them. This is Cassie and Jonathan signing off from Expat Freedom Trail. Stay safe, stay happy, and forever live free.